overflows. Essence of Tao-ness. What is Tao? Tao is the word coined by Lao Tse and defining that he said Tao is that which cannot be put into the words. Out of these millions things emerge but it cannot be put into the words. The moment you put the into word it becomes wrong. For instance the word water is not water that can satiate your quench. If you say that I need water, I can write the word water on a piece of paper to give it to you. Can that quench your thirst? Certainly not because the word water is not existential. That can quench your thirst is existential. Tao is that existential element when this flows or becomes your understanding, your way of life, it brings transformation. That is why I use the word Tao-ness, the essence, the essential quality of Tao. I am the essence of Tao, that which is the existence, the truth, which is the pulse of cosmos that you are, that I am, the entire cosmos, everyone in this universe is pulsating with that Tao-ness. When we enter, we enter out of the functioning of our actions. Tomorrow comes guided by your actions at this moment. What was your understanding? What was your consciousness? At this moment, that will determine your next moment. This is the reason man is discontented and religions are responsible for this state of discontentment of man. All these religions the so-called religions. I call these as religions because there is no religiosity, a definite philosophy that is at the background, at the back of each one of these religions. They go on giving you hope and hope is poisonous. It keeps you dragging, waiting for the moment when the hope will be fulfilled, but hope is never fulfilled. Give you an example. You enter into the world. World is not a place living. It is the place of your action where you interact. You enter into a job that is a world. You enter into a relationship, all these are based on how you relate and how you relate to in different circumstances and situations depends on your understanding of truth, experience which is truth, the experience. Then with that experience consciousness comes, an understanding comes, then when you interact in the outer world of objects and beings with that understanding or taste of truth, your life becomes blissful. You enter into a relationship. Before you enter, you are very excited very enthusiastic, but no sooner than you enter into this relationship, you have not known the art of relating yourself, expressing yourself in with your 
tau essence no sooner than you enter the process things starts going haywire you have entered into this relationship in a very happy mode but slowly and slowly that changes things begin to become sour you leave making the relationship a mess and with that both partners are miserable so you enter into the world which was good the love the world of love lovingness but what you made out of this in the absence of your taste of truth and living with that so the you enter into the relationship it gets sour out of acrimony you abandon that so it is like that you come into the world do you want to leave the world in a better place or worse place than that you entered into the world of love what you did you make this world a place of misery not a place of blissfulness and as a result the man remains discontented discontented you entered into a renting relationship you rented a house or a business location you set up your business you were enthusiastic that this place will give you enough business as it happens when you enter into a relationship that this relationship will give you fulfillment prosperity as you think when you enter into a particular relation soon you realize that this is not the right kind of a relationship or this person is not the right person so you decide to leave in the same way you choose a location to start your business sooner than no sooner than that or after some time you realize that this place has become uh, the, the smaller or irrelevant or something else you need to move to another place when you have gotten this place it was in a very that you came and you started doing the setup the way you wanted when you leave this leave this world where you run the business for a certain period of time or where you live do you want to leave it in a better position or you want to keep it in a worse position than what you have received it in the beginning when you started the business so when we leave that business place or that location we do not clean we do not refurbish or whatever the you know in order to set up your business you do the settings according to yourself the holes are put on the wall the you put different equipments place get dirty the floor gets dirty after all those things are removed the wall has holes as you see this is simply an example the relationship when you began it was a new building new place where you want to enter into with your spouse but when things became difficult to manage you decide to leave but in what position do we leave that relationship this shows if you have not understood truth are not living with that so whether you are relationship or whether you are leaving that place to move to another place you will leave in a, a very shattered or an usable place 
you will not clean it up you will not bid goodbye to your partner that we have spent time together from the beginning we had happy moments but we realize that this is not the way so we it is time for us to part after a relationship is abandoned we do not most of the cases we do not have a speaking terms we are like we end to exit with acrimony so in the same way when you leave this business place where you had run your business for some time or the house where you have lived you do not clean when you entered you didn't have to paint or anything you just started there was a cupboards there was walls were painted and all you did you decorate the house according to your needs according to your liking when you are leaving that place you remove all those things that you put up so after that the the place does not look like how you received it in the beginning in the first place you do not have courtesy to patch up those holes that you put on the wall you do not have courtesy to paint the walls the way you have received it so what happens we enter into the world we have received the world in a particular way but we do not live in that position or even in a better position to leave that place in a better position we may not want but at least leave it in the same position but it does not you live in a much shattered much dilapidated manner this is the way we live we are born we come into the world we met the world in a better way do we want to leave this world in a better position than you have entered into or in a worse position this question each one of us has to ask tau was born in a particular environment lived in a particular essence with the taste of truth and with that consciousness dawn my effort is when i leave this world it should be in a better position at least i should be able to create certain people who can represent the essence of tao who can rep- experience the truth and live by this truth so that is where it comes to three words sat truth consciousness is the and bliss anand sat is the truth when you experience truth your way of life way of understanding everything is guided by that chit is movement and bliss is the outcome of when you are living with truth if you have experience if you have known what electricity is you will not put your hand into the electrical socket you will live with that you will utilize the electric energy for your purpose and for benefit and out of that you will get the bliss or joy or happiness so always remember the world that we enter it in enter into we must live in a better position than we have received it in the first place that is the way of the awakened ones <coughs> look at buddha left the world in he created a team of the people who and the consciousness that is continuing let this be our way of life enough for now